everyone um i know i look like a little bit like a monster it's hair wash day i was supposed to wash my hair yesterday but then i was just working on the computer and it suddenly was 1 a.m so i was like i'll push it off to tomorrow woke up today ran over to the cnc office because i wanted to drop your packages off from over the weekend and now i finally have a minute to breathe and to vlog i'm not sure what i have filmed already i definitely did not vlog last week at all last week was I think for everyone just really difficult um it made me realize a lot of stuff in my life it made me you know take a step back and really think about <sighs> systemic racism and it was truly eye-opening things that i had never even thought of like i always knew racism was an issue but there were so many different parts of it that i was just so blind to so that was just so eye-opening and if you guys want any information um about that i will um leave the video that i actually am donating all the proceeds to i decided that oh, every time i start vlogging leo wants to go outside one sec <laughs> I actually decided, if you guys watched my last Get Ready With Me, I decided that all of the ad revenue from that video was going to be donated to the George Floyd Memorial Fund and the Black Lives Matter movement. So that is completely true. I haven't donated it yet because I wanted to give it like a full week to generate. I'm not sure exactly how much it's generated. Um, and I've already donated from myself. But I think this one, if I look it up, this one has generated $219. Ad revenue is not like the biggest. It doesn't generate like that much and I definitely want to donate more than that. Donating, signing petitions, getting justice is just so important and raising awareness is just so important. I've been so mind blown over the past week. I've had to personally unfriend people in my life i've had to unfollow a lot of people on instagram because i don't want to surround myself or be looking at people who i know just simply don't care about this major issue and i just don't want to surround myself and be looking at people who i know don't hold these same values and just honestly don't support what's right in the world and what needs to be changed and using their platform to raise awareness so i'm the first to admit that i've done that it's crazy to me i actually had an influencer message me saying can you stop posting this stuff i follow you for beauty and fashion and influencer and i was so shocked Anyways, I sent her a message back saying that she should be using her platform to raise awareness and, and to talk about what's truly right and what needs to change in the world. And she unsent her message. So, Leo, did you find a new little bit? Look at him. Are you okay? You've never sat there before in your life. That's new. Okay, so I just got home from Walmart and I thought I would show you guys what I got. I know this just looks like a big pile of stuff. I went a little bit overboard and got some things I don't usually get because I was starving. So I started off with some Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran is my favorite cereal, okay? It's the best cereal. Comment if you agree because I know people hate that cereal. I got taco, um, soft tacos. I personally like hard tacos, but um, Darren really likes soft tacos, so I got those for him. My favorite yogurt, banana yogurt, is the best i got um zero percent greek yogurt because i like using it as like a sour cream as well or in smoothies these i got for darren as well this i saw and i just like was so intrigued by it that i wanted to try it i got these because i am a child and they are my favorite i got another bowl i like these bowls um like these frozen i even like lean cuisines but i don't like chicken there's something about the rubbery frozen chicken i just can't stand and then i got another one of these i believe or did i only get this one i don't know i got some chicken these are really good to freeze and then thaw out and just barbecue because something about me is that i'm the laziest person in the world i got this i think i'm gonna make this tonight because i'm in the mood for some good food and this is like honestly the only thing that sounds good to me right now and i don't know i'm gonna make it with ground chicken that's not something i've ever tried but i'll let you guys know how it is oh this is the other bowl i got it's weird i don't mind frozen beef 
in these things, but I don't like frozen chicken, but I am excited about that. Those are for when I'm just like super hungry, but don't feel like cooking anything. It's like the majority of my life. I got my um, favorite coffee creamer. I got cilantro for tonight. Walmart has this really good shredded lettuce. I got a bunch of frozen fruit because I ran out and I love them for smoothies. I got frozen coconut pieces because they just sounded delicious and frozen broccoli because it's easy and I always, my broccoli always goes bad. I got asparagus and some cherry tomatoes because I already have some other vegetables. And then here I got some beef. I got some ground chicken, some more salsa. I got the makeup wipes. I got this Heal Rescue foot cream because my feet have been so dry. So I think I'm gonna put this on with socks before I go to bed and hopefully this helps. I also got this. Um, to keep in like my purse and I also got a tanning glove because I lost mine and then ooh, I'm so excited to try these I think we should try these on camera right now. Okay, so I loved halo top. I went through a halo top phase and I haven't had halo top in a long time, but I've been craving ooh, Like a cheesecake ice cream and this is from the brand cool way. I remember um, I've tried a few of theirs I'm excited. I hope there's like little chunks. It's delicious, it tastes like a cheesecake. But where's the cheesecake? Oh well, it tastes really heckin' good. I got um, a cheesecake blizzard from Dairy Queen a few days ago or a few weeks ago, and it wasn't good at all. Okay, then I got this cookies with cream one. If you guys don't know, ice cream is my favorite food. Uh, cheese and then ice cream. Ooh, this actually looks good. I also really like cookies and cream. And this is from the brand Great Value. It's not gonna focus, but. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, 10 on 10. Put this all away, try to clean up and start cooking because I'm starving and also make a coffee because I'm falling on my boom. Okay, falling on my boom. Okay, so in the oven, I have my little lasagna. And then here I have all the stuff for the top. I have my shredded lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and then I have my cilantro soaking in some salt water because I don't need no little bugs in my food. And this is what it looks like coming out of the oven. I only did three layers. It says to do four. Um, and I'm gonna top it with my sour cream and my salsa, and it's gonna be delish. Okay, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish both of it I took about half but you can see the little layers in there and it smells so good good morning everyone my ice machine is going crazy why does it always do that like relax I love my ice machine but it's so heckin loud so today I'm filming my Zara haul yes my kitchen is a mess I got groceries yesterday and I made dinner and it's just a mess okay I'm a messy person I made my coffee don't worry I reuse plastic glasses. I know it's like probably not the best, and um, but I have them and I have no clean cups right now. Well, I mean, I clean them, they're in my dishwasher, but you know like if you let them sit in a dishwasher for too long, they smell terrible, so I have to run the dishwasher again. So I finally have my coffee. I didn't have coffee for like days and I was losing my mind. But I just called the vet for Leonard because he's been acting very strange. He decided yesterday that he wasn't eating dinner and his stomach just looked very bloated. He's just been acting like a little bit weird. He started eating leaves, which I thought was so bizarre, and I looked it up, and it's a lot of people, well, the internet, which I know is like, never look up as symptoms on the internet, said that he can, it's like possibly a symptom of that he has worms. So I was like, oh my goodness. I need to take him to the vet. So he has an appointment at 6.30 tonight. Leonard, not that you guys care, but Leonard loves salmon. Like, I don't know, he's not my child. I don't like salmon, I don't like fish, but this dog loves salmon. And so I got him this whole special salmon food. He loved it. It was the best part of his day. Like, he would freak out. He would literally ask me for it by like pointing at the fridge and he just decided that he didn't want it last night. He was doing this very weird thing with his head where he was like smelling the food and then putting his head to the ground. Like, I don't know what he was doing. It was so bizarre. So I have to do that at six, but I want to give him a bath before. Oh my goodness. How do you feel, baby? You look so pretty. Yes, we're going to get your fur back on track, huh? Let's put some carrot oil on you. Do you feel better? You must feel better. 
What's in your hair? What is that? It's around 1.30 p.m. and I've been working inside on paperwork all day. And it's a beautiful day outside. It is like 30 degrees, super, super sunny. And whenever it's super, super nice outside, I always feel guilty when I'm stuck inside. I know like I have to get these things done, but I just prefer working inside when it's like rainy and I don't want to do anything. I also, I don't know why today, I've been really wishing that I had a pool. I had a pool like my entire life growing up and I never, it never interested me. So now that I don't have a pool, it seems like all I want to do is swim and go outside and like get some color on this body. A really fun thing that happened that I'm super happy about is my washing machine broke. So I needed to, I called my landlord, she said, to call a plumber. So <laughs> I'm waiting for my plumber to come. While I'm waiting for the guy to come and fix that, I've been literally hand washing things in my bathtub. Um, my mom took some of my laundry home to do because she's an angel. Um, I got his results back from the vet, which took longer than I expected. They said that I would they would call me the next day. Don't mind my super pale body. Um, we're gonna fix that today. Um, they said they would call me the next day and they just called me on Friday and I took him on Tuesday. So quite a bit of time later. And it turns out that he has low thyroid levels, which is like linked to having shitty fur. So I'm hoping that once he starts his medication, which I have to go pick up today, his fur will be better and it'll grow back. Other than that, oh my gosh, you guys. On Friday night, I was eating my cheeseburger. I had ordered, what did I order? McDonald's. And I was eating my cheeseburger. I, if you're wondering when I get a McDonald's, I get a quarter pounder with cheese with Big Mac sauce. It's the best. I can't eat a full Big Mac, but oh, it's so good. And I was eating and all of a sudden, like something flew to the back of my throat and you know when you take like a really big bite of something and like you don't chew it properly and you just have to like drink some water but you can feel it like going down your throat i thought it was that but oh i was so wrong so i was like i just like immediately stopped and i i was like trying to swallow but it wasn't going down it was like I was drinking and it wasn't going down and it was like it kind of it felt like it was stuck but it wasn't moving so then I started to like get nervous and I couldn't breathe like I, I it was I was obviously choking and now I've never choked in my life I was I just didn't understand how people choked because I'm an idiot it's not like I tried to swallow something it like flew to the back of my throat I don't know what it was so I looked at Darren and I was like I I I was like, I, like he knew something was wrong, so he started giving me the Heimlich maneuver. What would I have done if I was eating alone? Like, what would I have done? It's so freaking scary to think about. Like, what what do you do if you start choking and you're eating alone? Like, what is there to do? I really need to look into that because after that, I was like, the feeling was just so terrifying. So, anyways, he's giving me the Heimlich maneuver, like, pro like probably incorrectly. But anyways, a piece of onion, like a huge chunk of onion flies out of my throat. And I just have a newfound appreciation for for life. After that, I was just like so terrified to eat. Choking is literally the scariest thing in the world. And that's the first time, like I said, that I ever choked on anything. So that was, that was not fun. So that's just a lesson to make sure that you chew your food. <laughs> Whenever Darren does the frickin' laundry, he gets bleach on everything. He got bleach on my favorite pair of sweatpants. He gets bleach on all of his work shirts, and then he blames it on me. Like, I don't throw bleach around, okay? I don't know if you can see on my butt. There's literally a big bleach spot, but because my washing machine is broken, I cannot wash my other pair of biker shorts or my mom has them. She's washing them. So I have to wear these. So I hope people just don't think I have like a huge thing. But I think I'm going to end up tie-dyeing these because from that little bleach spot, I can see that the fabric underneath this is very nice for tie-dyeing. So maybe we'll do that. I have to pick up some things for a video that I'm doing tomorrow where I'm transforming a kitchen from start to finish. A really old kind of dingy uh, kitchen to like looking really new. It's in one of my dad's apartments and I was like, I want to like transform it. So I ordered everything on Amazon and it all came super quick. Are you ready? 
this is what I'm wearing. Let's go to walk. Hey guys, how are you today? So, oh my god, I feel like I honestly got run over by a bus. I've never felt this exhausted in my life. So, yesterday I went up to um, one of my dad's apartments and I had this idea of redoing the kitchen on a budget and I thought it was going to take one day <laughs> but then I had all my material to go and do all of this and so when I went to get it out of the car I saw the paint can that I had put in my trunk had spilled all over the back of my car so I was panicking this would literally only happen to me like this would literally only happen to me. So I took everything out of my trunk. Thank God there was like a lot of like grocery bags, like reusable grocery bags that had caught a lot of the paint. But the back of my car, the carpet was covered in paint. So my sister was a beautiful saint, precious angel, and she helped me at the car wash and we pressure washed a lot of the paint out of it. I never want to have to do that again. There was just paint everywhere. There's still paint all over my truck. My mom, my truck, my trunk. My mom came with her like shop, like carpet cleaner and she helped. But like white paint on a black rug, it just, it's just not a good time. So then we started and things were just going wrong left, right and center, but we got a lot done. So hopefully that video will be up soon because I do have to go up and do a little bit more. I might go up on Monday, but I feel like I was hit by a truck. But I did want to talk about this for a second. It's called the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist. This is so cool. I don't know if this is new or anything, but it cleans things like it's a magic spray you guys probably don't care but what i thought was really cool was the nozzle so i'll show you i'll show you guys on this box here i'm gonna do a little unboxing but you press it once and it continues to spray <laughs> the little things in life i tell you the little things in life so i got um one of you guys oh you guys are so sweet i got a card oh okay so you guys are so sweet and i always recently i've been getting in shit um because i haven't been answering all my dms even though i've been trying my best to answer all of them sometimes i'm in the middle of something and i'll see them but then they'll get like shot down to the bottom so i i can't find them again and i feel awful and one of you guys have a this i'll put your store name here one of you guys are you're so sweet to me all the time you have an etsy store and I got a card and this is so sweet. Um, I saw you had DM'd me about it. I bought a water thing and I told you not to refund me, but I saw that you refunded me. So I'll have to go place another order. I hope I say your name right, Laritza. Please correct me in the comments if I say it wrong. And she's from Montreal. I didn't know you were from Montreal. Oh my God, look, it has like really cute packing stuff. So she custom makes like little Starbucks cups. Oh wow. Okay, this is so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Your packaging is so cute. Oh, oh how sweet. I picked the one with like the Louis Vuitton logo because I'm extra and then it says Tony's of Dallas on it. I'm always needing some extra water glasses like I literally lose all of mine. Okay moving on I got a package from Pixie. I like Pixie but it, it seems like they send out more PR than anyone in the world. This is their new line of Jasmine. You have a retinol and ceramide cleanser. So I think I'm going to be using that because I love retinol. Um, and then the last thing I got, what is this? What? I don't even know what this is. It says it's from... Oh my god, you're kidding. Okay, so maybe four months ago. I'm not even kidding. Like, before I even did my tie-dye video... I found this website on 
Instagram. It was called Shop Et Etiva, Shop Et Etiva. And this is why I don't normally post things on my stories until I actually have tested them and reviewed them for this exact reason because I placed a big order. I think it was like two or three hundred dollars. They had like, it looked like a really good website. There were reviews. And so I placed a pretty big order and it said shipping was gonna take like two to three weeks. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And after like three months, I was like, hey, just like following it up. I know shipping times are delayed. Like, what's up? <laughs> and they were like, they started just refunding me a lot of stuff, which I understand sometimes like things go out of stock. On top of it taking literally a billion months to get here. I finally got, no, no, this is not okay. This is, I finally got my tie dye piece, okay? My tie dye set. This feels like the cheapest, worst material. I think this was supposed to be nude. Like, I don't even think I ordered this. This doesn't even feel like sweatpants. These are like shiny. I should have known better. <laughs> I should have known better. Anyways, I'll give that to like my mom or my cousin or something. And my sister's getting a new car and she wants me to go to the dealership with her. So I actually don't have that much time now that I think about it. I think she wants me to go with her at, the appointment's at two, but I wanna go to work for a little bit before. We are going to make a breakfast sandwich today, the best breakfast sandwich in the world, and you will thank me forever. And the only thing is that I don't have coffee, creamer. I have coffee, I don't have creamer. Um, I don't even have like Splenda to put in it and I don't drink black coffee, so I'm struggling. I'm the type of person that needs like two coffees before I even think about anything. We're gonna start with our bread. I like these English muffins, why are they wet? I don't think I'm gonna put eggs in my breakfast sandwich because I don't feel like cooking an egg. So we're just gonna skip it, but I'm gonna put some of this turkey um, chicken bacon because I just love me some chicken bacon. So I'm gonna cook two slices of this. I know people find chicken and turkey bacon gross, but I personally can't live without it. I have at least two slices a day. Normally I get the low sodium turkey bacon, but they ran out of my store. Okay, so I thought I bought a big bag of avocados, but I can't seem to find them um, anywhere. So maybe I thought I did and I didn't. You can hear the bacon sizzling. Oh, this avocado is not good anymore. Okay, so we're using half of my avocado I used a few days ago. There's probably a better way to do that. Perfectly good on the inside. You just gotta scrape the brown avocado off. Okay, so for in my um, little avocado guacamole mixture, I always add garlic powder. I love garlic powder, so I put a lot of it. I love garlic. So much. Then I put some pepper. Then I put salt. I I'm a salt freak. Then I like lemon in mine, so I'll do like a good squeeze of lemon. I think it just makes it taste fresh and nice. So a good amount of lemon. And then we're gonna put some hot sauce. I don't normally use Frank's hot, red hot sauce in my guacamole or avocado, but I can't find my other one, so. And then you just mash it up. Mm. Perfect, it's perfect. Okay, wow, I really outdid myself there. I'm going to add a little piece of cheese because I'm a cheese freak. My cheese that I have here is Havarti. I have to be better about cleaning as I cook because I am the type of person that leaves the biggest mess and then after, when I'm full, I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna clean. I normally would put like tomatoes or some sort of vegetable, but I eat all my tomatoes, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just scoop our whole, you can't even see what I'm doing. We're just scooping all of our avocado on and pressing it down. This is really hard to do with one hand. You wanna make sure you get every last drop. Okay, so then you're gonna take your bacon, turkey bacon, tofu bacon, whatever you prefer. And then you take your cheese and you have a little breakfast sandwich. Like I said, normally there's tomato and eggs, but this will have to do, this is what I'm wearing today. This is just a little top from Aritzia. 
my favorite t-shirts ever. These shorts are the Parker shorts from a Goldie. I definitely can put together a video with all my favorite shorts. Oh my god, do you hear my washing machine? Um, I'm wearing shoes from Zara, so something very casual. I honestly did not want to put any effort into an outfit today. My sister's best friend, Nikki, I've known her my whole life. Her family has a company called Nuage. Um, they make coats and stuff. It's a big um, company. And they made really cute masks. They have like a bunch of, she made a bunch of different ones, but now I have a really comfy mask. I'm not gonna put it on now because I'm going for a walk with Leonard. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can buy those online, but if you can, I'll link them and then I'll also link a few of my favorite masks, but I'm sure you guys all have your masks. I didn't have a good fabric one, so thank you, Nicole, for that. You saved my life. <laughs> also, yesterday, I don't know what happened, but my Dior sunglasses broke. It's not the first time. They've broken before and I fixed them, but I think I have to go get them professionally fixed because I'm not a professional glasses fixer. So I might have to go get those fixed, but you think for the price that you pay for them, they'd be a little bit better. I'm all over the place. Where are my car keys? Got the keys. We're taking Leonard on a walk. Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, let's go. So I'm here with Madame. We are going to Volkswagen to Oh yeah, I didn't even realize there's the blaring music. Um, we're going to Volkswagen to test drive her new car. She wanted to go see about cars the other day and didn't even bother to test drive them. Well, I mean, it was really just to get some information on the whole lease renewal process. And we're gonna test drive it today. She's looking at the Volkswagen Tiguan IQ line. So that's where we're going now. I still feel like I got hit by a bus, but I think that's because I haven't had any coffee today. Hopefully they have, they probably donate with everything going on. Do they have coffee there? They have water. I have my water here in my nice little cup. It's super cute. Now that they're closing all the sporiums in Quebec. Why? They just like, they have this I know, store. they just built it up. I, I don't know if it's like true, I just saw it on MTL blog. Apparently there's gonna be a lot of sales. One time when I was driving past, I saw such a huge line. For outdoors people, they really like sale. Sale is um, actually a fun store, even though I'm not a big outdoors woman. I've never been to either. But sale, like they have a big moose in there. A big moose? Yeah. Like a, a real one? I think like taxidermy. Ooh. So we're test driving the car. Oh! <laughs> I'm not, I don't have like my seats here. Yeah. We're test driving the IQ Drive. The seats are like a teal color, which is cool. Which the outside is go? white. Probably that way, just so you don't have to deal with all that traffic. Whoa. Feels nice. How do you feel? I like it. So you have all your different modes. It's so nice. Yeah, I don't even know. It's such a weird location for a dealership, though. Did you want to try it in sport mode? Um... I think I'm gonna pull into this parking lot and see how parking goes. I mean, this is not exactly an accurate representation of a parking in an empty parking lot. I wanna see the reverse. Oh, I like that it has the line. Oh, look at me, I'm right in the lines for once. This is the back. Hello. Ooh, it's a nice big, oh, you even have a CD player. Ooh. Okay, so while I was cleaning my bathroom, I found my Biore strips these ones so I thought I would just do it because I've noticed that my pores specifically here have been so bad so I'm just gonna wet my face I actually don't know if these work but I'm willing to try anything because it's gotten to the point where my makeup just doesn't sit on my face like that well anymore like in this area it looks like bumpy and I've been like washing my face better i've been using like this little brush thing which i don't know what brand this is from a company sent it to me but i like it so much more than the clarisonic it has oh it's the aura clean system a company sent it to me and basically it's just like this little thing and you have your little brush but it's not as rough um as the clarisonic i know you can get like different brush heads but it 
I think the Clarisonic only vibrates, whereas this one actually spins. So I don't know, I feel like it's getting my um, skin cleaner. And then it has this little thing with a UV light that sanitizes it. I think on the rest of my face, while this is working, I'm going to put on my favorite face mask. This one right here, the Brazilian Super Mud one. I don't know, that one just makes my skin super duper soft. And you only need like a thin layer. There we go. Whenever you're cleaning, always take that time to do a little skin or hair treatment. I should probably do a hair treatment too, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm washing my hair or not today. So now I'm trying to tackle the bathroom. I just have to really put all my products away, wipe down the sink, and then I'll be done. Okay, so I got the bathroom all clean. It looks way better. I don't like these gray walls, but I'm not painting them. So yeah, the bathroom's all clean. My bedroom is all clean, except I have to put the clothes away. So I ended up going with the beef one because the other ones had like a lot of like grains in it, and I didn't necessarily want to eat five cups of rice. So I went with this one. Ooh! steamy hello so it actually smells really really good i am excited to eat it it's really hot right now 